Hi and welcome back to Laran Gaming and if you are new to the channel, welcome. I am Larand, and yes, it has uh, it has been an update. We have the summer parade event ongoing, and also we have a new chance to catch Uncle Salmon, the the fish that you could catch during Fourth of July event. Uh, I was on vacation, so I couldn't really cover that, but uh, it uh, it's here again in Port Jackson. So if you basically go down here to the beach or outside here in nearby Port Jackson, uh, you can get uh, this Uncle Salmon. It, it's gonna look like this if we're just gonna wait and watch the bobber there, there, there we had it. I couldn't reel it. it <laughs> the rod didn't work. Oh, that's a boot. All right <laughs> I didn't know you could catch the boot here because I think the fishes are located on different locations and Also in world 2 I believe but we're gonna check it out just to make sure where we can catch everything. Uh, apparently the boot exists here at the beach at least. So that's confirmed. And uh, this Uncle Salmon is also here obtainable here in Port Jackson. Uh, we can take a closer look at the boot right away by the way. Because I mean I got it so why not take a look at it. Uh, gonna go into the free camera. <laughs> it, it looks like a boot. And it's broken. Great model, by the way. It's a good looking boot, even though it's broken. I like it. We're gonna... I wonder if it's like a decoration piece in the aquarium. I wish it was at least. Otherwise, I think we might see a swimming boot in the aquarium. Or floating one. I don't know. We will have to find out. But then we also have this Uncle Salmon. Uh, this one is very limited, actually. It only lasts for a day. And as I'm recording, well, we have already wasted four hours. Uh, and when you gonna watch this video, it's, uh, well, it might be too late. Who knows? Uh, that's why I'm trying to get this video out as soon as possible. But this is the one. Uh, we need to go and find all the other locations also, so we can have it in the video. While I'm also standing right here to the merchant, I'm gonna mention just ever so quickly. There's a sale on the charge during this specific weekend when I do this recording. 15% uh, off and... Uh, also, when you go to the merchant, you will see there is a lot of more items here. So, more than usual, uh, grab the opportunity if you want to boost yourself during the summer. So, you have the sunburst, best spear basically in the game. Love it. We also have the cybernetics glider, fantastic glider, biggest backpack in the game, allows you to glide. This one is actually pretty fast, entertaining to drive. I have them all in vid separate videos, so... You can go and check them out if you want to have like a full review of them. And this one helps you to fish in the lava inside the volcano. So, very good. Uh, need to find these other locations. So, I'll get back to you once I know those locations. We're gonna do this in no real specific order. Uh, I have seen that it's, it's possible that we have something inside the special fishing area inside uh, the ancient shores. Uh, we're gonna go there, we need to go and do the uh, quest so we can gain entrance. And I need to reload the game because it didn't load the quest properly. If this happens to you, if you don't see quests available on the different islands, um, well, reload the game, basically, because uh, it didn't really work properly the time that you tried it. And if it still doesn't work, go on a private server, just to make sure that it loads properly. And here we are again. As you can see, when I reloaded uh, the game, uh, you have all these quests available now. So, press the track, and uh, we have the marker, and we're gonna go and do the quest. So if you are unsure how this works, uh, well, it's not that complicated. Uh, we're gonna do the mirror quest. This is the solution for it, if you are unsure what it looks like. I can't really cover the other solution right now because it's on a cooldown. But uh, this is uh, basically the track that you have to do with the help of the mirrors. Alright, so let's go inside the SFA and do some fishing. Okay, so here we are. We need to see, of course, is it tricky to get it? Does it take long? Uh, we just, uh, well, I'm not gonna cut anything of this. Uh, just to see how fast you can actually obtain it. It's luck based, I know. I, go I do have a very good rod, I know. So it might take uh, more time for you, or you might be more lucky than me, so it goes faster, but uh, we'll see. If uh, <laughs> if uh, everything goes as planned. Oh, here we have something. I saw something new. 
Yes. <laughs> Plushisaurus. Okay, so we need to take a closer look at it. This was really cute. It's a it's a very cool... Well, it's not really a fish, but so isn't the boot. So that's okay. This is more like... I need some shelves <laughs> in my aquarium. Just to put these items in it. Because, well, they don't look like fishes. Uh, but they still look very good. And uh, this goes down directly to the collection. Let's continue with the next one. And you know what? I wouldn't be all too surprised if, uh, let's say, the next, which is the Pharaoh Piranha, if that one is actually located in Pharaoh Dunes. And since this one was in the SFA, I would guess that the other one is also inside the SFA over at Pharaoh Dunes. Uh, so we're gonna go over there. By the way, this is level 30 zone. And this is level 40 zone, so you need a little bit of leveling to do if you plan to actually obtain all of them. That That's okay, uh, because this lasts for one month. Until 19th of August, uh, you have the time to get these fishes. And uh, well, basically you go fishing during the summer. Makes sense, right? Uh, but now we're gonna go into the special fishing area in Faro Dunes. And here we are <laughs> in the goo. We, we we need to see uh, how long does it take to get something from this place. So I stand basically directly down here in the goo just to see if we get something that we haven't recognized before. So the... Oh, here I, th I think we have it. Didn't take too long, did it? Pharaoh Piranha. And here it is. <laughs> Pharaoh Piranha. Well, this one looks at least like a fish, so that's fine. Okay, we need to continue. We need to go and try to get the summer starfish. And then we're gonna end up with Thorfish. I think Thorfish is over at Needhog's Reach. That's level 60. Uh, we need to find that starfish first though. So, a little update. I think it could be that the summer starfish is not really working properly. But uh, apparently over at Needhog, uh, we're gonna get uh, the uh, Thorfish. So we're gonna try it out and see if it's the shore or if it's uh, basically inside the SFA, like the other ones. There was some indications I read on Discord that it could be outside. So we're gonna try it out. So let's see, do we have any suspicious fishes? Oh, oh, I saw it, but it went away so fast. Uh, yeah, we need to see if we can get it again. Shouldn't take too long, I guess, because the first time went pretty fast. Oh, yeah, here we have it. This is a new one. And here we have the Thor fish. Oh, and I got a huge version. That's perfect. I actually collect the huge versions, the normal versions, because even though mutations are great, huge versions, uh, well, then you see it's actual true colors, and I do like that a lot. Uh, we need to go and uh, get more light to it so we can easily see the details. Uh, here we have it. We're gonna go into the free camera. Thor's hammer, of course. <laughs> it's <laughs> being held by the fin. That's brilliant. And this is a brand new fish model. I haven't seen this one before. Looks great. Lots of details. You're also gonna put it down in the aquarium, of course. Alright. <laughs> I have found out where to actually get this uh, last summer starfish. That one is a little bit tricky. Currently it's not working. Uh, but apparently... You get it here in Timeless Tides, but you get it only during Thunderstorm, so that's gonna be a challenge. So, if you get the Thunderstorm here in Timeless, uh, if you use, we by the way, if you use a Weather Core right now, if you decide to act and play like a Weather God and change the weather here, it still won't work because you can't fish it, so... Uh, you have to wait uh, until it's fixed, and uh, then we can take a closer look at uh, that specific fish. <laughs> Alright, so I can't show it in this video, but I will probably show it in the next one. I think uh, that's uh, all for now, and I do really enjoy and like the fact that uh, you have to move around a little bit to get all these different fishes, and also that it ranges from level 1 up to level 60. I think it's brilliant, I think it's smart, uh, I think it's a good way for players to actually see and experience all the different locations here in Fishing Simulator. It's a good way to basically keep you busy, <laughs> so that's just perfect. And I think uh, that was everything for now. So, in any case, that was all I had.
And I actually forgot something. I also said that I was supposed to show this in the aquarium and I didn't. <laughs> so here we are again. Uh, we need to drop them into the tank. We're gonna pick this one. All right. Let's go into the free camera and find them. So this one is the one that you really need to hurry up and get. Because uh, that's only for one day. And uh, as of this recording, I think we have already... Uh, I think it has been already seven hours or something like that. So uh, when you see the video, it's going to be even less. So, And uh, this one is really trying to escape through the glass of the aquarium also. So it's definitely going away. Grab it while you can. Here we have a boot. It's just floating around. I wonder if I can get like a huge boot. That would be even better. I'm going to try to get the, that one off camera later. And uh, then uh, what did we do next? The Plushisaurus. The one from Ancient Shores. Here we have it. A little bit of clipping problems in the graphic it seems. But nevertheless... I think it's a great model, but it actually does behave a little bit different in the tank compared to what it looked like when I held it in my hand. But uh, yeah, great one. And where did we have this uh, Thor? Oh, here we have the Pharaoh Piranha, by the way. It's swimming sideways. That's an interesting one. Oh, actually, these fishes swims backwards, so this uh, Piranha isn't uh, doing all that terrible, I guess. Except that it's trying to escape through the sand. It makes sense because, well, it came from the dunes. And where is Thorfish? I saw it. Oh, yeah, it's up here. Now I see it. Here we have it. This one swims correctly. <laughs> Just like a normal fish. Really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Which one is my favorite? I think the Plushisaurus, even, even though it's not really a fish... I think it's just super cute. Such a nicely made model. Just imagine if you could have this like like a pet just to follow you around. That would just be awesome. Uh, we need more pets basically. <laughs> and uh, yeah, th this would be a candidate. Even the boot actually. Having a boot as a pet. Ah, uh, uh, okay. I'm I'm starting to ramble now. Uh, I need to I need to quit. Uh, the summer starfish isn't in the tank. Obviously, we need to wait and see uh, once it's working. But now at least you know how to get it. At least I think that was everything. In any case, that was all I had for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. I know I'm not really that good at replying currently. I'm on that vacation, you know, so, uh, but regardless, like this video. If you'd like to see more content from Fishing Simulator, please subscribe and yes, have a nice day. Bye everyone.